I swear this is going to be the last time I'm going to be talking about this topic about this show. It's been going on for a week now. Yes, that is what happens when you release all at once, but I do have my opinions and I'm going to let you know about them today. I, I should probably tell you that I will probably talk about it once we get closer to season two because I did like it. Yes, I did. But let's get into it. So before I even get into the review of the show, before I even let you know what I ranked the show, if you haven't already seen my ranking and my thoughts on live streams multiple times, um, there's something very important I do want to talk about. And that is the fact that it seems in our sphere, we are no longer allowed to disagree with one another. I can't like a show if you dislike it because you disliked it. You're shitting on me or vice versa. Look, I like this show. If you didn't like it, I understand. It's totally okay. I will tell you my view on it. I will tell you my opinion on the show, things that I liked. And did I like everything? No, I didn't. There are things I didn't like. I will tell you about them as well. But I will still give you my honest opinion. I don't base my opinions upon others. What others in our sphere say, what others, uh, bigger YouTubers say. I, I absolutely loved watching Friday Night Tights when I wasn't going to be streaming on Fridays myself. I absolute love watching all of these people, people, Drinker, As, Mahler, every one of them. And they sometimes have different opinions upon themselves which is apparent in this show, Fallout is pretty damn dividing. I have to say that. But just because one YouTuber or another says that it's crap, doesn't mean that I'm going to change my opinion on how I saw it. And look, it's not just that. I put out a video a day before or two days before the show dropped. People were shitting on me after the show had dropped, after I had made a video about episode one telling you that I enjoyed it and that I'm looking forward to the rest of the show. I was getting dunked on like crazy from people in the comments. It's like, oh, well, this aged well. Oh, you're just a bigot. Oh, you're stupid. It's like, Attack my ideas if you want to. Don't attack me, right? That's one thing. But it's like, people, I had my reservations about the show. They didn't make it easy. The show gave you, uh, we can't please any fans. Uh, we're going to drop it all at once. We're going to drop it a day before we said that we would. It, it all pointed to Amazon not having any confidence in this show whatsoever. And to be perfectly honest, I still don't think that Amazon had confidence. Now, after seeing all the, the fans and people talking about it, I think they know that this was a pretty damn good show and that it was overall, by most people, actually liked. Now... There are those that definitely hate on it, even on this in the sphere that we're in. A lot of these people claim to be fans of the Fallout games. And a lot of them hadn't even watched the show before they started shitting on it, saying that it's not lore friendly, saying that it's a dumb show, that it's stupid. And if you like it, you're stupid. That's not how you do things. That's not how I do things. It's not okay. If you want to talk about it and, and you are actually a fan of Fallout and you've played the games, 
Go and watch it. Give your honest opinion about it. Yes, I get it. People review things, talk about things that they haven't actually watched. They base their opinions on the knowledge that they have. But if you are so far off and, and look, if someone attacks me and says that it's like crap and is like, Hey, did you watch it? And they say, no, it's like, I can go check it out at least like, come on, before you say that it's crap, go check it out. Look, And I get it. I get it. Like I can be perfectly honest. I have been struggling every time I go to Netflix and think, all right, I'm going to press on the button to play a uh, rebel moon part two. I'm like, eh, no, I don't want to. I'm not going to review it. I didn't review part one because I thought it was so bad. I did actually watch it. I could say my opinions about it, but I chose not to. Anyway, because it's just no point, but that aside, and I'm sorry if I, that just made a sound. I just hit my mic stand. That's all right. Um, but honestly, treat your fellow person with respect, even if they have a different opinion than you do. I mean, come on. It's, it's entertainment. All right, so let's get into the show itself. If you seen my episode, uh, if you've seen the video that I made about episode one, you already know that I was invested. I really enjoyed it, and I tried to stay away from spoilers as much as I could. By the way, here, you're going to be spoilers. So sorry for going on such a huge, long rant. I didn't mean to, but for me, it had to be said. Like, look. Most of the people here watching my videos, you know, you have nothing to do with this. You are not the ones doing that. You know, it's usually people who I don't even know who comment and say shit except for on Twitter. That I will have to say. So if you're here and you watch this, I'm pretty damn sure you know who you are. But I highly doubt that you're here watching this video because you don't really support me because you aren't a friend. I had to say that. So into the review, like, yes, episode one, I absolutely loved it. A little bit of a spoiler. It starts out, you are, you know, it gives you, gives you the backstory of the bombs dropping. It gives you Cooper, a, an actor, you know, who's at a birthday party and everything. And you, you, you know, they drop the bombs and they show you a bit about uh, pre-war and and then it takes you to the vault with Lucy and it, it, it explains the vault, it explains Lucy, you know, that she it explains how she knows a lot of things, you know, like knows a lot of things like hand to hand combat, like shooting a gun, which she says herself that she's not great at it. And it takes you to through the vault and you learn about what's going on. And look, vault dwellers kind of stupid like they haven't been outside they haven't interacted with real people they've only interacted with their own group or in this case in this show a three vault group which we'll be getting into later all right and she is supposed to get married you know and they want to do inner uh they, they want to do like a vault exchange for marriages and stuff like that, you know, because they actually get into it, into uh, that episode. Like Lucy says, uh, fooling around with your cousin is fun and such as a kid, but it's not really for, you know, long term preservation of, you know, life. Kind of true, and it's something, like, when that line dropped, I was more like, ooh, okay, that's kind of mm, iffy, like, why did you bring something like that into the show? But, I, you know, ultimately, they're vault dwellers. Of course this would come up. It hasn't come up in the games and stuff like that, at least not for me. It's like, you don't think about that. But it is true. Anyway, you know, this all happens, and, and I have to say, I absolutely love the character of Lucy. 
I've seen people go out there and call Lucy a Mary Sue, which she's not. She's not a Mary Sue. She gets hurt pretty damn bad. She needs a stem pack and every, you know, I'm, I'm going to make a point here in a moment. She needs a stem pack. She needs saving from her dad. Um, which in that first episode, I really liked the dad. I thought, wow, cool. We get a good dad figure. Uh, mm, mm. But that aside, um, what I wanted to point out is that you kind of have to look at this show as a game. Fallout is a game. It has game aspects to it. This show has game aspects to it. Like if you would take the game, if you would take the show and you would play this, it would act as if it was a game. And I think that's a, actually a pretty interesting take on this. If they would have made it a dark, serious drama kind of show, it wouldn't have felt like Fallout. They gave us exactly what we all know and love about Fallout. And look, if if you know nothing about Fallout, you can still enjoy this. There are some funny moments in it. There are moments in it that I, I do not think are that funny or just they're supposed to be funny. But it's just like, oh God, that's just horrible writing. And look, yes, plots happen conveniently like they do in games. Things happen to progress the story just like in the games. So if you're coming here for a more serious take of how someone would act, react in a real situation, this is not the show that you want to check out for that. This is a show that is supposed to give you the feeling like you are in the Fallout games and you can still enjoy it again. You really can. Trust me on that. Was all the writing in this show perfect? No, it wasn't. There was some shitty moments. Some really bad dialogues. Amongst them, Maximus. I honestly, my opinion, didn't enjoy Maximus. Why? Because of some of the lines he had and because of the story that they told around Maximus. Maximus is a pretty damn bad character. I'm not saying that the actor is bad. I'm, you know, I don't know the actor. I haven't seen him in anything else. He might actually be a good actor, but the writing for this show was pretty damn bad at times. Like the line where he talks about his manhood being a pimple that feels like it's going to pop. It's like, come on. A 12 year old knows about his own penis and what to do with it. And that stuff comes out. Really, honestly, like it's just bad writing, bad storytelling in that moment. Honestly, it didn't feel good to watch this guy play at all. That sounded kind of bad, but. Lucy's writing, I absolutely loved Lucy. She's a vault dweller. She doesn't know anything about the outside world, and she gets told multiple times, go back to your vault. This place is lawless. Go back to your laws. Go back to your community, to people you know how things work. Here, everything is shit, and you will not be the person who you believe to be. And she struggles with that. She tries to see the good in everyone. And honestly, that, you know, it felt personal to me. Like, I tried to see the good in everyone. And sometimes, you know, you saw my, my long seven-minute rant there at the beginning. Doesn't always work that way. And after being on the surface for two weeks, she becomes more of a badass. Like she knows how to deal with people. At the same time, she still sees good in people. She still tries. Which 
it could it could change in in season two. I don't know. We'll have to see, because she learns so much, and gets betrayed by the people that she trusts. Will she be able to keep up being the person that she is, while dealing with these people, and especially her father? The best part about the show was Cooper, the ghoul, which is, you know, he's such a phenomenal actor. Walton Goggins, just wow. Incredible in this role. Like, he made the show complete. Like, I know people have issues with some of the fights that he had, especially in Philly when he was fighting Maximus. And then later on in the last episode, you know, he knows of a he knows of a defect in the armor because he himself wore that armor during war. And it's like, well, he could have used that effect defect, you know, back then in, in episode two in Philly, but he didn't. Now, it doesn't really matter. Yes, of course, maybe plot. The way I saw it, the way it seemed like to me is like. It took him a while to put things together. And he may have, you know, he was living for over 200 years here, right? Do you remember everything that happened in the last 20 years? Last 10 years? I, I highly doubt it. So there are things that he's going to be forgetting. But once he starts putting things together, he hears Lucy's name. You know, he's starting to be like, Hold on. I remember some of this. There was something going on. So you can you can be like. He didn't remember it at that time because he wasn't aware of it yet. And now after he figured things out, it's like, well, hold on. I know who she is. Probably and finds out, oh, yes, it is. I was right. It was Hank. Hank McLean. Weird, huh? How that works out. Then he remembered it. So there, you know, he, he got back his memory from the time before the war and was like, shit, I know what's happening. Let's go, you know. And just, wow. He, he, the, again, he makes it for me. This was a great show for me personally. Like, look, I guess I didn't get into too much of the, um, yeah, I guess I just didn't get into too much of the spoilers and stuff. I don't want to be talking about the show for the next two hours. I've done that multiple times on streams. If you want to go check it out, definitely go check out my last stream or well, our last stream over on insert culture, where that's basically all that we talked about was fallout. and. If you want a few other people to check out, go check out Ryan's video. Go check out Wookie Be Bad's video. Go check out Drinker's video. Go check out the stream with Wade on his discussion channel. We went for like three or four hours at that point. It was a lot of fun talking Fallout. So go check it out if you want a full breakdown of episode by episode, things we liked, things we didn't like. To me, all right, I'm going to give you my rating. It is a 7 out of 10 for me. Is it the greatest show out there? No. Is it the worst show? Definitely not. I think it's a pretty damn good show. A 7 is a good rating. 5 is average. I would, you know, I, I can consider watching average shows at time to time, you know. This is a good show. I don't give high scores easily. Like, honestly, I, I can't tell you the last movie or show that I have ever given a 10 to beyond Star Wars. I'm talking about Star Wars. For people who don't know, A New Hope. That, for me, because it was the first of its kind, it was just awesome. 
that is my favorite. It's my childhood. It means so much to me that that gets the 10 out of 10. Nines out of 10, very seldom. Like, honestly, there's not much that has that rating. An 8 out of 10, if it's really freaking good, right? A 7, because of some of the dialogue, because of some of the writing and the plot points, and I can understand, like, yes, there's a plot here, there's a plot there that moves everything along. Like, it's so convenient. Yes, I get it. The writing wasn't the best. But for me, it was a fun show to watch. And I would recommend it to anyone who doesn't know if they want to watch it or not. If you're into the games, if you just want fun, go and watch it. They give you great characters, except for, you know, I again, I don't care much for Maximus. Could that change in season two? Yes, he could have a redemption arc at the end. At this point, I'm not entirely sure that, that he's reached that point. And I don't think he has. Anyway, that being said, I really enjoyed it. If you watch it, let me know your thoughts on the show. And if you watch it because I recommended it, let me know as well. And let me know if you agree with my take here. Just be civil about it. Anyway, again, I'm sorry for going on that long rant. It just had to be said. There are things going on on Twitter and the videos, you know, I'm just, I had to say something. It had to be done. Just be respectful out there, people. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications because, oh, guess what? YouTube knows that you then do want to see my videos. Until next time, take care.